welcome to my third Lego uh, review, and I'm going to be doing, instead of Star Wars, I'm going to be doing Lego Harry Potter. This is The Rise of Voldemort, and I'm going to start off by reviewing the minifigs. So, I'm not sure why I have this here, it's Gobble the Fire. It's a perfect size, like there's been everyone's, but this is the perfect size. Uh, but let's go. So I'm gonna do the Death Leader. It is. It's one of those pieces where instead of a Lego piece, if you see them, there's milk. It's a minifig piece. You can see it's a little connecting dots. And there is no print on it. I was hoping for some, but it wasn't. On the back, there's a little a big hood. Don't think they need those since they have to the cool hats. The it's really. I think they shouldn't have had a second face on there. I think you might have been just to see a little bit, but I think would be cool. But it can just be random. That theater like Malfoy's dad, because he seemed to be one of the parts there. Nice little Harry Potter wand. And if he holds on to it right here, it's normal. This is my first Lego Harry Potter set, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, so, it is the front print, it has a little necklace. You can see his mask and where his little mouth is under there. His eyes. Little robe. It's pretty normal, so... Next, I'm going to actually do Voldemort because he's like the main part of this. So, his wand, it's the same thing, only light. So, if I do a Harry Potter refill, I'll always just do the first wand and it's kind of all the same. So, he ha is pretty Voldemort ish. <laughs> he, uh, he has what he has the nice white hands. Uh, yes, white face. There's some good print on the back. That I really like it. And this is pretty good. Voldemort, or Tom Riddle, is... I was pointing at the Tom Riddle <laughs> thing on here. Uh, it depends what you want to call him. Uh, he has same thing as the Death Eater, which I just reviewed. I'm going to call him Malfoy. Dad, because first when I see Death Eaters, that's what I see. So, uh, and it has the nice green print with the black. No printing on here, sadly, but it's pretty good. The face, I really like the face, just left the details. It's really good. Next, I'm going to do Peter Pegru, and uh, he has two faces. One on the back, a nervous face. One on the front, a uh, normal face. Now, this is very, very good. Uh, when Lego gets it right, they really get it right. Like, you can really see the, t the teeth are great. Just the way the mouth is, the wrinkles, the face expression, even the dressing itself. Like, how it's not completely perfect. And they actually got his magical hand, which I'll explain in a minute, unless you've seen the Goblet of Fire. It's got a little knife piece here. These ones don't come often. So, uh, the back is really good. No, And it's really just good. Have to, it's, the hair piece is normal. It just comes in different sets sometimes. So I don't really have to comment on anything. It's really, really good. And then we have Harry Potter. One's always the same, like I said. His hair is a little different. It reminded me at first of the Kylo Ren hair, but then they realized it was kind of like the Peter Pig root, only black. Uh, his scar, it's really hard to see, especially with the camera. So, yeah. Well, we're, well, the camera's a little bit better as my videos go on since it's just my first, third one. Usually, uh, any, so he has two faces. He has his, uh, 
normal angry face maybe and then he has a happy face the print here is really good the pattern that's good with and i like just the little crest because it's just red and black there couldn't have been a like a big mark here from when peter pig really went <clears throat> into him but <laughs> it may be earlier depends it's what legal wanted to do his glasses are good. Uh, I like how the legs can bend. Like, usually they're still. But he's a normal little thing. So I'm getting on with this. First uh, re part is it can, when he can be put on stance here and this can bend down and kind of bends down for him to be able to farm play. Does come with a cauldron. Mm -hmm. It comes with Peter Pigrew's hand. That was part of it. I'm not sure why. Forget what that bone came from. Harry Potter's blood. And little baby Voldemort. Into the bowl. Into the bowl. Into the bowl. It just goes on here. It's move on the back. So it's not like every Lego pieces. You can just rotate it. Now, the nice thing with this is you you can lift it up here. You put it down. Uh, you can put the wand back here. There's two little holding parts. So, you pull on this tombstone, and he comes out. You can imagine that the pot is that. There's the little Deathly Howl sign right there. Uh, and this little frog thing. Not sure what it's here for. These just are little hinges. Nothing to see back in the grave. Just an empty part. It's just my wooden table. This piece, I couldn't find enough on this piece because it wasn't apparently there. So, just if you gift this Lego set, you might want to maybe have a spare. Just in case. Because it wasn't in this one. Yes, I do build all these Lego sets. But I do not buy them. My parents do. Anyways, uh, this is pretty normal. And I guess I don't really have anything to say about it. I was really looking forward to getting this set. You know, I've known this since I was like eight. So, yeah, I guess this is a short video. Uh, nothing on the back. It's normal. Uh, so, I guess this is just the end of the video so thanks for watching uh my third lego video and remember these are daily these are just when i have free time and it takes and if you're looking to be a youtuber it takes forever to load these videos trust me it takes about the day so thanks for watching bye